in one dimension of time. And the problem with that is that doesn't really, that confuses us because then you have two different ways of looking at things. You can call this world 4D or you can call it 3D. And it, it just, mathematicians and physicists, they won't, they won't be able to talk together. So if you say spatial dimensions, that will, you know, make sure that everyone's on the same plane. So, once again, we're looking at four spatial dimensions today. Right. In order to do this, we're going to use a tool called dimensional analogy. So what that means is, since we don't know what four dimensions are like, we're going to look at what we do know and use that as an analogy to find out what we don't know. So just looking at dimensions in general, and one time I read an interesting physicist definition of dimension, and that is degree of freedom, which I found really interesting.